Hi, my name is Samantha Jack, and this is my presentation about intercultural encounters. Cultural encounters are part of our everyday life as we come in contact with people from different backgrounds that are shared experiences that create strong bonds when it works well, or difficulty when we fail to communicate our feelings to a person of another culture. The importance can be shared as an example in having a patient's diagnosis or doubts about their understanding of his illness affected by their cultural background or social beliefs that evoke a social context in regard to treatment for that patient that is heavily influenced by his cultural practices or beliefs. We see this a lot in healthcare at UK Hospital where we treat so many various patients of different backgrounds and cultural and uh, social beliefs. The contact with various cultures on a daily basis will be discussed that define what intercultural encounters mean, the various types, and how to interact with other cultures. In order to do this, we have to understand that conflict can potentially arise, and when we overcome it, we can be part of the melting pot that intercultural encounters create in the world that we live today. So, the first thing that we have to understand is what intercultural encounters mean so we can further understand the importance of interacting and being successful with a person from another culture. The reason I picked this was because recently I went to Africa on a medical mission trip and while there we got to serve alongside people that were from Africa. So they had different backgrounds, races, beliefs, social practices, everything was very very different but it was still such a neat experience where we got to learn about their different practices and beliefs. And here is a picture of me while I was there interacting with a group of kids that were from there. And this was in Kenya. So culture encounters are interactions with beliefs or behaviors that are recognized and respected as a presence in a group or society and it's acknowledging the diversity that values one's beliefs to encourage contributions from each other's backgrounds or ethnicities. These encounters explore layered history of race, citizenship, and cultural aspects that encourage an interaction of diversity to migrate a common denominator in understanding between each culture according to wise. The types of cultural conflict that can create positive or negative effects on the outcome of each encounter. In turn, the outcomes of these conflicts will be dictated by how we acknowledge the differences that the culture we are speaking with, along with the allowance of our thoughts and words, can help to shape the situation in such a way that promotes unity, positivity and encourage each person's culture. Now that we have defined intercultural encounters and their importance, let's look at conflict that can potentially arise when we interact with other cultures. According to Cox, there are two types of conflict that intercultural encounters can have, and it is simplified into two types that give us a basis for interacting by reaction, learning, behavior, and results. There's primary conflicts, or conflicts that involve fundamental cultural beliefs or a pattern of human activity within that community or social group that symbolize the structures with significance for standards, traditions, or religious beliefs. Secondary conflicts are norms within that same culture that reflect a negative or criminal element by another social group within that culture that differ in agreement to resolve the situation involved between the subjects of the same culture. So looking closer at the types of conflicts enables the ability to overcome them while promoting a sense of unity and a commitment to resolve any conflicts that may be approached when different cultures interact. This reflects a melting pot of encounters that yield positive results creating a melting pot for the world which we live in today, as we can see by the examples. The following helps to show the framework to follow and promote a positive effort in encouraging and promoting unity in cultural encounters that create a beautiful, diverse melting pot of the cultures, according to Benson. Acknowledgement or showing respect for the person with whom one is speaking 
to that culture is acknowledged and respected in such a way that their importance for their beliefs will be paramount in the result of any decision or interaction exchange made by each person. Identifying or recognizing that each person is part of a diverse group that has a set of norms that are beliefs formed to create the makeup of that individual's identity and used in such a way to guide the interest of their life. Cooperation and collaboration with an individual to reach a mutual decision that reflects a neutrality, respect, admiration of each person's beliefs, promoting solutions that lead to outcomes with positive differences that can increase awareness and respect with that person and their cultural beliefs. Cultural encounters are part of everyday life that we encounter in the world and that involve a vast and diverse population with families, children, relationships, and they're all used to create opportunities daily to improve outcomes, explore different cultures, and promote therapeutic relationships in the United States which is the melting pot of cultures, according to Sturm. Now that we have understood the meaning of intercultural encounters, the different types of conflicts that they can create, and the wonderful results that can be produced when we follow the proper framework in these situations, we will be able to promote a positive outcome in our own experiences and add to the melting pot to pour into our own contributions to the culture of America. Thank you for listening.